This is Camtex 1932 Ford Coupe. Camtex do provide indentations to delineate the door, but not actually the window. So I've drawn a crude marker pen line just inside the edge of the door to act as a guide. For the windscreen we get no guide at all. I've done the same on the other side. Around the mud guards. Just to make it easier to get it even on each side. Back window is absolutely tiny. Let's see how it comes out once it's been cut. Already it looks a little less like a jelly mold and more like a model car. I've just done this with the Dremel. I haven't used a file or any sandpaper on it yet. To make jobs like this easier, I'm in the habit of making myself these little things. Just a piece of coarse and fine sandpaper glued to either side of a popsicle stick. In order to do this car, however, I had to make an extra specially slim one to go in these tiny letterbox windows. I've just given it a coat inside and out with this stuff, high coat plastic primer, which is matte in finish. Tempted to leave the car like that. Now that I've glued my rusty wire inserts into place, I can glue into place this black cardboard sheet, which I'm going to use to block off the view in through the grill from the front. Headlights. As you can see, I've trimmed away most of the clip and then heated a piece of rusty wire, jammed it in and fixed it with glue. This is a sheet of tin foil to which I've glued my lenses, which is a clear plastic sheet which has been scored vertically. I mounted the headlights by heating a scrap length of my rusty wire and poking the hot wire through the ABS, right beside the cardboard sheet I use as a bulkhead. This way I had the bulkhead to provide plenty of surface area for the glue to grip the wire. Although the Charisma had been running fine the last time I'd driven it, I now found that the slipper clutch needed adjustment. With that done, and the adjustment checked in the way you see here, I removed the scale front and rear ball bars in order to get the Camtex body to fit. Lastly, I needed to shorten the body posts. I didn't want to cut down the original Charisma ones in case I ever got round to fitting the Beetle body again. So I got a pair of spare Camille TL01 rear body mounts, shortened them and just screwed them on. <laughs>